So how does XV6 use interrupt? Well, first thing that happens, right, if we have, there's a latepick.c has a latepick init. And what latepick init does is it tells the latepick hardware to use vector32. So remember, it's a programmable interrupt controller, and so we can program it to see what vec say what vector to use. So that's the code that we'll use with something like this. So. So what's happening is we call APIC w. We say we're interested in the timer interrupt. We want it to happen periodically, and we want it to use this vector. So that means it'll go to interrupt descriptor table entry 32 in order to determine what code to execute. All right, what else do we do? Well, in trap.c, we have the uh, trap vector in it. And trap vector Annette goes ahead and initializes the interrupt descriptor table, and it makes it so that entry i points to code at vector i. Okay, so basically, we just have a loop. And what do we do in the loop? We've got a macro for the interrupt descriptor table. So this is the ith entry of the descriptor table, and we set it. So we set it like this. What this does is, again, sets that this is the interrupt script table entry we're interested in. This says we do not allow interrupts to happen while we are handling this interrupt. So this basically says the first 256, we don't allow nested, we don't allow nested interrupts. This is a segment for the kernel code, because remember it's a combination of segment and offset, and then this is the offset. This one says you can't directly um, generate it from user mode. So you can't do an int 0 or an int 1 or an int 2 for all these numbers. Okay, that's not allowed from user mode. But then the other thing we do is we set one up for system calls. So what this says is for the system call interrupt, we do want to enable interrupts while this is happening. So if we're in the middle of handling a system call, so we're in the kernel handling a system call, we do allow an interrupt to occur. All right? Part of the reason for that is system calls can take some time. And so we don't want to just ignore interrupts for long periods of time. Uh, and this is the vector we go to. And this also says that this can be generated from user mode. So you can do a int, whatever the system call number is.